<laughs> I want to have spaghettios. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> spaghettios are gross. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Nindy Nexus, your channel for all things Nintendo indie. My name is Mikey, and today we're doing another first look. Today's game is called Self. And it is a one-player adventure simulation puzzle game published by Indie Nova. It originally released January 16th, 2020. It's on the North American eShop for $6.99. It is rated M for mature. So per usual, if you are under that age, please reach out to a parent, adult, guardian, mentor, whoever is in charge of you. Make sure they're okay with you watching this video. That said, let's get into it so self is actually described as a kafka-esque game uh which i originally heard in breaking bad the, the word or the term yeah with this kafka-esque church but um what that is is uh really a, a situation or story um that is absurdly bureaucratic but also includes an ironic circular reasoning in the characters or people involved uh so the character being responsible for his or her own torturous experience and that's just coming off google that's not me knowing things so but i hope everyone learned something because that uh, definitely sounds interesting to me so let's look at the first screen here I have to make a choice so I can confirm with a Y memory B menu let's go ahead and confirm okay so now we got new game and options options let's take a look we have language English uh, but they also have Chinese and Japanese as well so it looks like there's Japanese and there is Chinese oh wait uh, maybe a couple different kinds of Chinese uh, I'm not really sure it just says on the site to Japanese Chinese English we're gonna stick with English because that's what I speak and that's the only option there so let's go ahead and get into it and see why this uh, fairly simple looking game is rated M for mature it says drug references and strong language so I'm guessing the language is gonna be a big thing here dad's been gone for quite a while I'm awake but don't want to get out of bed get up it's Sunday. I want to sleep in. Hey, today is Sunday. <laughs> uh, so you know what? Let's let's uh, let's sleep in a little bit. It's so cozy under the quilt. I better get up. Sleep a while longer. All right, let's get up. I have to force myself up many times. There's a crack in the screen there. Looks like an eye. Oh yeah, an eye has opened. Every eye is a node, an important choice made by me. My pathway can be seen in the spreading crack. Interesting, okay. So the crack are your choices. Cracks are also like decisions. You know what they say about those. I stretched and got out of bed and heard a noise outside my door. Open the door. That's my only option, so let's do it. Who is it? Brush your teeth and get ready, Mom said. I poured a glass of milk for you. There's cocoa in the cupboard if you want some. Some chalky milk? Why hasn't Dad come home yet? What did you say? He hasn't called for days. Something must have happened. Mom looked at me sternly. Is it the stress from school? If you feel the school's too much, take it easy for a while. Mom, aren't you worried about Dad? Okay, I will take it easy. Oh, those are my options. Um, let's go with that one there. Mom puts her hand to my forehead. I'm wondering if the dad is maybe deceased. What do you want for lunch? I'll make you something tasty. I'll even call your teacher and say you're sick. Take the day off and rest, okay? But dad promised me, or dad promised that he'd meet me at school this evening. Mom begins to look worried. I want to have SpaghettiOs. Nah, SpaghettiOs are gross. Do you know where Dad is? Haven't you noticed that Dad is gone? You don't seem to care at all. What's going on with you today? What are you talking about? Mom shakes her head and sighs. Acting all weird in the morning. 
Um, I'll go brush my teeth. This is getting awkward. Mom pats me on the head. Such a loving parent. I'm heading to the supermarket. Remember to brush your teeth and drink your milk. I'm going to brush my teeth right now. She took her bag and her umbrella, then left. I turn on the tap and brush my teeth. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Forget the memories. Get all these memories out of here. Get out of here, memories and friends. Escape a hospital. Estrange. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I'm just uh, interacting with these words here. Actually, I, oh, there we go. I was going to say, I can't do it anymore. No, 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 no. Uh, not sure what I'm supposed to do. Maybe delete. Whoa. And that's how babies are born, my friends. We're learning all kinds of things today. Turn on the t I turn on the tap and brush my teeth again. I ate breakfast and drank my milk. It was completely tasteless. Yeah, I imagine it would be after that, uh, that health lesson there. I added some cocoa, but it was still quite bland. Mm, must have been off-brand. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Someone was knocking at the door. Mom probably forgot her purse. I looked through the spy hole and saw two black-clad strangers. One was short and chubby. One was tall and thin. Oh, is this uh, going to be like Home Alone right here? Got Who's it? Uh, uh, what's his name? Daniel Stern and uh, Joe Pesci at the door. Hello. <laughs> oh, they're, they morph. Hey, anyone home? They called Dad's name and continued knocking at the door. Oof. Nah. We don't talk to strangers in my house. Hey, anyone there? My heart beat faster. Dang it, he's not home. Or is he? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. They're still knocking on the door. I'm going to remain silent. Hmm. Someone's home after all. How do you know? I can see a pair of shoes beneath the door. <laughs> There's a big enough gap where you can see my shoes? Imagine what kind of bug problems they have. They noticed me. You there. Open up at once. How long do you think you can hide? They kicked the door, and the whole room shook. Come out here at once. Dad, where are you? Dad. Dad. Uh, alright. This may require a new choice, but this is not an easy one. Face it, or avoid it. Whoa, what happened? Green to face it. Red to avoid it. Oh, we're facing it, boys. Let's do this. Green. Green. I'm gonna blast them. Yep. Oh, you know it. I'm getting the big guns out. Literally. This, this square keeps closing in, but I'm trying to... I need more. I need more greens. Oof. Let's go, let's go, oh. Let's go, yes. I'm firing bullets at them. Protect my house. Protect myself. Come on, come on, we got this, come on. I need to get all three, there's not enough, not enough green. I need more. Come on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to face him. It's getting harder. I, is it? I wonder if it's just like timed or if. I mean, I don't know how long I can last without touching a red or without messing up. 
I'm doing okay though. I'd say so. Oh no! One red. Look how much it dropped me. That's not fair. Oh, maybe that's it. Let's go. Did I last? Did I make it? Yes, I was able to hold on. So let me face it. Oh, whoa, that it chose it for me. That's weird. That was a trip. Perhaps a non-choice is a choice. I may have forgotten something important. I may forget more things in the future because everything is just beginning. Doo -doo -doo. All right, what's next? I threw my matchbox cars on the floor. Heated up the door handle. What's going on? Oh, shoot. Uh, maybe I just put on that movie, put the firecrackers in the, uh, in the pan, you know? Scared them off. Keep the change, you filthy animals. What's that? Underwater? Did I, did I mafia them? Did I go dump them in the river? In the ocean? What's going on? I'm so confused. Oof. Last breaths. Ha! I'll show him. Don't take out your don't take out your gun here. What? What if he's inside? I'm sure someone's home. Just because there's a pair of shoes there doesn't mean anyone's home. What if the cops come? Dang it. And we finally found his new address. Let's go back and think it through. Bah. It went silent again. They probably left. I started breathing again and looked through the spy hole. I couldn't see them anymore. I opened the door a little and, lo and looked outside. I found a card on the floor. I picked it up. It was Dad's business card. I didn't know my dad had business cards. I had his number and address. I've never seen any of them before. I called the number. I went to the living room to call. And just as I was about to pick up the phone. Yep, they called me first. Let's answer. It started to ring. Ooh, it might be them. Hey. Hey, I'm outside your door. It was my friend King. You dropped this King. My dad's business card. Outside my door? You didn't forget now, did you? It's Sunday. You promised we'd head out. Oh, right. I'd almost forgotten. Never mind. Come on, open up. I hung up the phone and opened the door. Yo! King called out to me. Why didn't you just knock? Um, King went into my room. Let me see here. King picked up a math book on my desk. How are you doing with geometry? He asked as he flipped through the pages. It's not that hard. It's really darn hard. I don't get the shapes or formulas at all. To screw proofs. Just look at you being all proud, huh? King hit me with the book. I didn't dodge, I just sh <laughs> I just sat there and took it. What's up with you today? Do I confide in my friend? Uh, yeah, let's do it. What happened? It's my dad. He's gone missing. Uh, what? I haven't been able to contact him for days. King looked at me in silence. You've been living alone with your mom for ages. What? Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Let's just forget about the past. King kept apologizing to me. Is King here? Mom came home. Me and King left my room. Hello? Hi there, King. I saw an extra pair of shoes by the door and guessed they were yours. <laughs> we haven't SpaghettiOs today. I said no SpaghettiOs. Mom, can I go out and play with King? Sure. Take a rest today and have fun. Mom agreed? But remember to be home before lunch. That's an early curfew. Okay. King tapped my shoulder and smiled broadly. See, it wasn't so hard after all. Let's go. There was nothing for it. 
I had promised him after all. As we were heading out, I felt for the keys in my pocket by habit and found Dad's business card. I've never heard about the address on the card before. What is it doing on Dad's card? King, do you know where this is? What? Whose business card is that? Do you know where this is? Let me see. King took up his phone and opened maps. It's a hospital. A hospital? See for yourself. Sure enough, the address was that of a hospital. What a coincidence. The hospital is close to where we're headed. Where are we going? Have you forgotten, or are you pretending to be stupid? We said we'd go to the arcade. I grudgingly followed King into the bus, onto the bus. It was muddy from the rain. The streets were empty and the city lay silent. The waves, new memory piece obtained. I remember that day. It had just rained and it was muddy. The streets were empty and the city lay silent. You were still a child then. It was the first time you took the bus alone. I took you to the bus stop. You climbed into it alone with your school bag. The driver's gaze made, made you nervous. You felt as though you've done something you shouldn't have. Card or cash? The driver asked. Ah, uh, you startled. Card. You placed your card on the scanner. It beeped. Move along, the driver said. Yep, that's pretty accurate <laughs> for public transit. You nodded, and then turned around and waved at me. Later's dad, I'm going to school. I waved back at you. The doors closed and the bus drove away. I kept watching toward the bus until it disappeared from view. The bus is almost empty. A shabbily dressed girl sat on the seat in front of us. Kind person, please help me. She extends a bowl containing a few coins. Let's give her some coins. I felt my pockets. I didn't bring my wallet. Ah, sorry, I didn't bring my wallet. Thank you, she says, and extends it to King. King gives her a $5 bill. Thank you. You can't just keep giving money away like that. Ha, ah, it's alright, King said, and waved his hand. I noticed two black-clad men at the back of the bus, one short and chubby, one tall and thin. It looks like we've ran into them again, and this is the cliffhanger where I'm going to leave off at. So remember, this is Self. It was released January 16th, 2020. It's a one-player adventure simulation puzzle game. You can see pretty cryptic so far. It's definitely got an engaging narrative. Highly text-based, and uh, it's got some mini games in between. Kind of reminds me of a Undertale-type vibe, uh, minus the you know RPG aspects. But definitely interesting so far. Uh, definitely want to get into this more. See what happens, and see why they call it the Kafka-esque style game, um, and see what kind of uh, interesting stuff I can get into, and uh, what's going on with my dad. If you like this first look, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you did not like the first look, go ahead and hit the thumbs down. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about the game or about our site, nindynexus.net. I'm done for the day, but I'll see you all next time. Have a great night.